So we have started our unit on the Pythagorean Theorem. Previously, we found the length of the hypotenuse. Today, we are finding a leg. So I can find the length of the leg of a right triangle given the other leg in the hypotenuse. So you need to correctly use the vocabulary leg, hypotenuse, square root, and Pythagorean Theorem. So the first thing we're going to do to find the hypotenuse, we started by labeling A, B, and C. Does it matter if this is A or B? No. But the hypotenuse is always C. You wrote down the equation A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Solved. And then the last thing you always remembered you have to do is find the square root. Well, what's different about like this is, is nothing different. We're going to start by labeling the C. Now this is going to be our A or our B. And it doesn't matter which one. We're going to write our equation, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So our a in this example is 12 squared plus b squared equals 13 squared. That's 144 plus b squared equals 169. But now I have to bioboop. I have to solve it by drawing the barrier, isolating our variable, doing the opposite operation, bringing down our variable term, doing the opposite operation. And what's the opposite of squaring a number is square root. Don't forget, you got to solve for the square root, true. Now, if you had memor memorized your Pythagorean triples, you would have been able to see very quickly that this one is a Pythagorean triple. But the process is the same. So, you try that. Again, start with your C. <coughs> Excuse me. Write your equation. Plug in your numbers first. Don't skip this step. It's really important. Because students who skip that step have a tendency to mess up on squaring the number. And then we're bio-booping, subtracting 64 from both sides. And A equals 6. This one is our C. We write our equation first. We plug our numbers in. Fifteen squared is two twenty five. Seventeen squared is two eighty nine. Subtract two twenty five from both sides. And square root. This one, there's nothing different. The only difference with this is that we have to simplify it at the end. So we did a mini lesson on this, but remember, we're not, the easy way would just be put as a decimal. But I don't know what the square root of 316 is. So, like the square root of 50, can be rewritten as the square root of 25 times 2, which then can be broken up into the multiplication of two square roots, and the square root of 25 is 5. So let's try a couple of these. Now, in my, my head, I'm going to think, oh, wait, I could do 6 times 2, and I can do 3 times 4. Now, which one of those has a perfect square in it? Well, 3 times 4 is a perfect square, because 3 times 4 
um, sorry, 4 is a perfect square. So I'm not going to use 6 times 2 because neither 6 nor 2 is a perfect square. So this becomes square root of 3 times the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is 2, so this becomes 2 times the square root of 3. This is square root of 5 times the square root of 100. The square root of 100 is 10. This one becomes the square root of 49 times the square root of 2, which is 7 times the square root of 2. All right, so let's try this one. Again, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's 11 squared plus b squared equals 15 squared. 121 plus b squared is equal to 225. Now we're bio-booping. Isolate my variable, opposite operation. b squared is equal to 104. Now I've got to figure out if there's any perfect squares. So 4, does 104 go into? It does. One oh four sorry, square root of one oh four is equal to square root of four times twenty six, which means it is two times the square root of twenty six. You try this one on your own. Pause now. Try this one on your own. Okay, so 115. Well, I know 5 is a factor. 5 times what? Well, pull out your calculator, do 115 divided by 5. And that's 23. Oh, that's both prime. So this is our final answer. x is equal to the square root of 115. So, you should be able to do your homework right now. Um, it is on Canvas. Please, as a reminder, the expectation is to get a perfect 5 out of 5. Do not give up and stop until you've gotten a 5 out of 5.